doesn't love a plate of a big juicy steak? Or maybe a basket of assorted pastries perfect for a Sunday picnic with the whole family? Yes, it's such a simple thought. And only 1% could turn a simple idea into something even bigger. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the most expensive food all over the world. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications of our videos. Let's face it, almost 70% of the reason why we go to parties is the free food that's available, right? Yeah, we're there to celebrate the occasion, but we're also there to see if there are crab cakes on the dinner table too. It's not that we're poor, we're thrifty and practical. Plus, who can say no to free food, right? Be it from high society or even for average folks like us, we do love free food. Number one on our list, the Japanese Kobe beef. We can only imagine what these luxurious and really expensive food taste like, but we do hope to somehow be able to trade a kidney for a slice of that grade A Japanese Kobe beef. Most of the time that we're watching cooking shows, we often hear the term Wagyu beef being used around the kitchen. Wagyu beef is another way we can say Japanese Kobe beef, but let's face it, the second one is such a mouthful to even say. But believe it or not, a pound of this high-grade, rare, fatty, and intensely marbled Wagyu beef can cost up to $200. However, the icing on top of the steak world is the rare steak called the Olive Wagyu. A steak of this amazing beef cost from $120 to $300. And that's just the steak. A doll cows can sell for as much as $30,000. So if you're ever in need of a job in Japan, you can always try a hand in raising cows that might be worth more than $30,000 someday. The idea should excite you since back in 2002, one Matsusaka cow was sold at $400,000. This just proves how much people are willing to go for a steak. Number 2. Matsutake Mushrooms And if you think that's the only expensive food Japan has to offer, then prepare to wipe the drool off your face since the most expensive and probably the best mushrooms you'll ever taste is the Matsutake Mushrooms. The Matsutake Mushrooms are also often referred to as Matake for short. These mushrooms are probably only available in Japan, and that adds certain charm to their popularity. They may not be as appealing as the black truffles, but their rich flavor is something that high societies all over the world keep searching for. Aside from that, a pound of these high-quality Matsutake mushrooms go for a stunning amount of $1,000. Meanwhile, a basket of five costs about $500. People have related the mushroom to the Japanese symbol of longevity. In addition to longevity, these mushrooms have also become synonymous with the autumn season. It has become one of the things that answers what it means to be a Japanese. But that's not all that's highly expensive in Japan. As seen in some Japanese films and anime, characters often spend summer vacations with watermelons. Number 3. Densuke Watermelon and this is probably where we've noticed Japan's Densuke Watermelon. If you haven't seen people go crazy enough to spend almost $4,500 on a watermelon, then head to Japan to know what the buzz is all about. The Densuke Watermelon is considered the most expensive watermelon in the world. As these watermelons only grow in Hokkaido, the rind is visibly darker and people have said that its flesh is known to be sweeter compared to regular watermelons anywhere in the world. But don't worry, average Densuki watermelons can be bought at around $250. However, high quality ones can fetch a price up to $6,000. We knew Japan had a lot of things hidden under its sleeves, but we didn't know they were this expensive. We're pretty sure you've expected another one of the most expensive foods in Japan, and you've guessed it right. Number 4. Yubari Melons 
The Yubari melons, a pricey fruit that would also make you wonder how it's able to sell like crazy despite the price of $13,500 a piece. Japan has a lot of costly and expensive produce available, and the Yubari King is probably the rarest of them all. Yubari melons are produced from Yubari Hokkaido. These melons are great and are sweet enough to make you not regret spending a lot of money on this fruit. But what most people spend big bucks on is the Yubari King. The Yubari King is the unique cross between two types of cantaloupe that can only be produced in northern Japan's Yubari region. People eagerly wait for Japan's Yubari melon season and auction, hoping to get a chance to bid for the Yubari King. The sale price record for these sweet melons is currently at $27,000. It's up to you whether you think these melons are worth spending such big bucks on. But if you're not into something expensive and sweet, maybe you'd go for something expensive and fancy. Number 5. Almas Caviar Maybe something like the Almas Caviar. Yes, caviar. This food has been known to be the most exclusive and most luxurious addition to your dining table. Almas in Russian means diamond, and that makes it easier to explain since its price is almost as high as a diamond. Despite being a food item that's mostly reserved for the elite, Romans have attributed healing and medicinal properties to caviar. Caviar is basically just the eggs of the Danube sturgeon fish, and its etymology is rooted from the Persian word kagaviar, which means row generator. But due to the Danube sturgeon being in danger of extinction, caviar has become an even more rare and exclusive delicacy due to its scarcity. It isn't even something you can easily purchase anywhere. A kilo can cost up to $25,000, and it can be considered a great gift due to its metal container, which is literally covered in 24 karat gold. Number 6. White Truffles But when it comes to servings, everyone would want seconds and thirds of the white truffles. If a pound of Japan's Matsutake mushrooms can fetch up to $1,000, then Italy's white truffles are worth twice as that. A kilo can even cost up to $6,000. You may wonder who in their right mind would be spending this much on mushrooms. But there is nothing too much when it comes to the high gourmet and high societies of the world. If caviar is the most exclusive food, then the white truffles is considered to be the perfect luxury commodity. Its rarity and scarcity is also a few other factors to add when wondering why it's priced that way. After all, white truffles are only available a few months a year, and most exclusively comes only from one part of Italy. Sprinkling these white truffles on top of any dish could elevate and make the dish an even more magical dining experience for the people. But due to its price, this isn't something that the common folk are bound to enjoy. Still, we would love to give it a try, right? Number 7. Elvish Honey The same way we love to have elvish honey available in our kitchen. This is considered to be the most expensive honey all over the world. Elvish honey is sold up to $6,500 for only a kilo. Some people think it isn't worth it, but as the elvish honey is harvested in tree hollows and made by the pure, wild European black bee in Russia, there are still people who reach into their wallets for such a hefty prize. These tree hollows are deep within the cave too. That's not all that makes the elvish honey interesting. It's also made of linden and regular plants, but from an unpolluted high-altitude zone. Another reason that makes it worth more than most designer sneakers is the fact that it is only collected once a year. The very first kilo of this exquisite elvish honey was sold on the French Stock Exchange five years ago at $45,000. Who knew honey could cost that much? However, Gunai Gundus, the beekeeper, also notes that the elvish honey also has medicinal properties, which also explains the price tag. 
There are so many, yet so expensive foods that we'd want to try. We'll probably empty our wallets to try them all while we cry due to a lot of mixed feelings of regret, satisfaction, enjoyment, but also sadness. We can't even begin to imagine having all those feelings all at the same time. But heck, if it's worth it, then might as well give it a try. Which one do you think is worth its price? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.